hello guys welcome to a brand new video and today i'm going to be teaching you how to use the mask option in camera raw see like when i discovered like this was added to the camera raw i was so excited in fact you know it's now so easy to do some certain things in camera raw let me show you now this picture has already been edited um, just as a bonus let me just walk you through what i did so um this was after i did my adjustment in um camera uh, capture one i did my adjustment in capture one you know it was way darker than this a bit but she wanted to come out really really light because you know okay no need to add that remove that all right so this is how i edited it in capture one like this is my edit from capture one then i did uh, my frequency separation then I did some color fix somewhere, I brightened some areas that were dark. Then I smoothened the background, my subject. Then um, I did my color grading, just made it look lighter a bit. Added some sharpening, added some noise, desaturated, increased my vibrance. Then I fixed the stray hair and some other parts of the image. Then I just did some you know little dodging and burning here and there then i lighted the image a bit more and added some bit of color to the skin and this is my final image so from this to this so you know the client requested you know this light skin tone and so i'll show you some other time how to achieve this kind of light skin tone let's move on so what I want to show you today is what is possible with the new camera raw 15.2. So what you do is go to filter, go to camera raw, and then when you open camera raw, you will be able to adjust the parts of the image based on your masking option. So you just scroll down to the third part here, which is mask. When you come to mask, there are three types of masks you can make. You can make. You can make a mask of the subject you can make a mask of a sky if it is you know it's an image that has a sky all right you can also make a mask of the background so now let's assume i want to change the color of the background i want to adjust the background i can just click on background and automatically camera raw we identify the background of course it is using ai to calculate where the subject is and the background so this overlay, if you see the green here, is just showing you the areas that have been masked. So I like green so that it will be very obvious to me. Okay, so, and you can also adjust this mask. You can use your brush to adjust, manually adjust the mask or, you know, remove from the mask. But I like, like the mask is really, really very good. So this is mask one, if you can see it here, mask one, which is the background. All right, so I can name it as background change let me see okay so let me change this to background hold on background color change okay so now what i'm going to do this green is just showing me the areas that has been selected by the camera raw all right so now these are the adjustments i can make to those areas so first you just leave the green okay the moment you start adjusting anything the green will disappear so let's say i want to make the background lighter i can just come and make it lighter you can see how i can brighten or darken my background if i choose to so but let me see now let me make it darker a bit so i'm going to make it darker then there are some shadows here if i don't want the shadows i can remove the shadows all right then i can scroll down between this color and hue this is where you can do some magic so if i want to change the color of the background it's so easy to change it right now see just moving it around this axis I can actually change the color of the background so easily 
without having to go through a lot of stress like everything is just so easy so i can decide to use the um, color temperature to also adjust okay i can use color temperature to also change the background look at how easy it is to fix the background then there are other you know normal adjustments you can do so let's say i want to add um a lot of texture because i blur the background i want to add texture to the background i can just increase the texture it will not affect the subject to be the, on the background i can you know there are a lot of adjustments you can make i can sharpen the background i can do all of these effects on the background and it's not affecting the subject so i can add another mask okay i want to create another mask for the subject so i'll come to create new mask and i'll click on create then it will tell me which kind of mask do i want to create if I want to create a mask of the subject and I click subject I need to select the subject then I cannot decide to say I want to make the subject lighter if I want to make the subject lighter and this adjustment I'm making is not affecting the background at all all right so I just want you guys to know know that all right so this is something you can do with raw so now this is how you can adjust the subject let's say i want to adjust the white balance of my subject you know i just want to make add some more blue maybe pushing some more greens to make her look really really you know yellow maybe add some bit of contrast and then you know, just add some saturation in there okay so you can see how my image has changed let's look at the before and the after you can see how i've made this adjustment i can turn this one off so i don't see those red things so you can see this is my background and then for my subject this is my subject now look at other options on mask you can create all right these are other options on mask you can create let's just quickly run it you know through a few so select subjects select objects when i click on select objects all right it gives me the ability to select an object so what i don't need to do is this just to go over that object so let's say i want to select a hair so i'm just going to rub on a hair like this all right my selection is not very accurate so when i leave it camera is going to calculate and select it for me so now i have the selection of a hair so i can easily brighten her hair i can darken her hair i can desaturate it so just in case the color is not being affected maybe i just need to you know do some adjustment at that area let's say i want to desaturate it i don't want the the color is not supposed to be i want it to be white like this you know more like this you can see how i selected the hair without stress all with using the select object option select people now this is amazing do you know that the ai in camera raw can select the different parts of the image now let me show you if i click on select people what it will do is that it will read the image to look for how many persons you have so if you have up to five persons you say person one person two person three and as much as you know the number of people you have in that photograph so we only have one person so it's going to be person one now this is the mask of the entire person all right but then if i want only the mask of the face without the eyebrow without the lips if i want the mask of the body skin if i want the mask of the eyebrow if i want the mask of the you know the eye white if i want the mask of the iris at the pupil if i want the mask of the lips if i want the mask of the teeth if i want the mask of the air so easy even though yeah some of the mask still needs a bit more refining so now where is this thing applicable so now let's assume you take a picture the face is different from the body like the body is under exposed it's something you can easily do if i click on the body i can create a mask and then i can go and expose the body more i can brighten the body to match with the face already this image already matches because i've already fixed that all right i showed you guys earlier on so there's no need for that at this point but that's what something you can do let me show you something else you can do if i come to create mask come to select people all right i can go to the teeth i can select the teeth and the eye white and then i'll create a mask with the teeth and the eye white then i can go and brighten the eye white and the teeth i can go and reduce the saturation and i can add a blue so look at how i have been able to whiten 
the teeth without stress whiten the eyes without stress what about the pupil the iris i can do something amazing with it i can come to select people i can come to select the iris of person one then i'll press create mask then i can decide to increase the iris i can decide to you know increase the contrast of the iris then i can decide to change the color of the iris i can decide to say oh i want blue or use the white balance to change it i can decide to do amazing stuff let me zoom in so you see how it looks like this is amazing this is amazing you can see how you can change the contact lens the color using this this feature so there are other options you know um gradients radar i believe we already know you know a lot of that so today i'm only talking about the select object select subject select sky select background you know and all of that so let me get an image to show you how the select sky works so let's see let's go to another image all right so we have another image all right this was a retouching service and i think on upwork like some many months ago anyways so now if i want to select this sky all right to so make a selection of this sky maybe i want to underexpose i want to you know i can just go to camera raw just go to camera raw and then when camera raw opens i'll go to the mask okay i'll go to the mask of course this thing is on sorry i have to turn this one off all right if i turn it off it will not show me this is the exposure warning so when i go to the mask i'll come to select sky when i select sky you can see that it has already selected the sky now i want to change the color to red because the, the leaves are green i just want to be sure the selection is good so let me turn it to red okay yes so, so we can see that the selection is really good okay so with that selection i can decide to say i want to adjust the white balance i want to add some blue i want to bring the exposure down a bit to reveal what is there you know i want to desaturate you know it a bit maybe add add some green hold on okay then let me bring down the highlights let me bring down the highlight so you can see how I am able to work on the sky look at the before and the after i'm able to work on the sky so easily without having to spend time trying to mask so that's what i'm saying so let's say we want to select the water and change the color of the water like i told you you do select objects so i just take the brush and with the brush i'm just going to brush over the area i want just make sure it is properly covered just gonna brush over it very quickly. When I brush over it like this, all right. When I release my brush, it's gonna make a selection. So let me oh, hold on. Okay, it's gonna add to it um, automatically. So I'm just gonna add this area to it. So you can see how you can even add to the selection. So you just so now that I have this, I can just go to my white balance, adjust my white balance to adjust the water. So I, I want the water to look I'm not a landscape, you know, photographer, so I really do not know how how they like their work to be done so i just ask for reference and i match it with the reference so but now this is how the image is turning out this is the before and this is the after all right so i've not done the you know general adjustment if i come back to the edit i can do a general basic adjustment i can bring down the highlights all right i can increase my contrast a bit more but you know expose some of the shadow don't want them to be too dark then add some more saturation then i may want to you know adjust the greens a bit come to the saturations of the green I tone them down a bit the orange the yellow tone them down then maybe move the hue of the of the yellow a bit 
all right so as to make them look very so just here and there adjustment so this is before and this is after so let's just open the image so i did this adjustment max the sky max this area just using camera raw masking so i want you to go and try it out and tell me if you enjoyed using it so if you have any question please drop it in the comment section and um, i hope to drop another video soon so thank you and like and subscribe share with your friends see you in the next one